Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today is a big day in the tech world. We've all been eagerly waiting, and now it's finally here. Apple has just unveiled their new VR headset at WWDC 23, their legendary developer conference. Now, let's dive into the details, and trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this one. The headset we're talking about is the Apple Vision Pro. A small caveat though, it's not hitting the shelves until 2024. However, Apple didn't hold back from showing it off in all its glory at their developer conference. It was a presentation like no other, and today, I'm here to give you all my reactions. First off, brace yourself, it's the price tag. A whopping $3,500. So, are you ready to take a dip into your savings? That is the price of your Microsoft HoloLens 2 Magical Leap, those types of high-end AR headsets or industrial-type VR headsets, like the Vio XR. Before we dissect this monumental moment and speculate about the potentially game-changing features, let's cover what we know so far about this technological marvel. The Vision Pro is a standalone device that houses two chips, Apple's M2 and a brand new chip called R1. This last chip is specifically designed to process input from 12 cameras and 5 sensors including eye tracking and foveated rendering, and this is complemented by 6 microphones. And the head strap? It comes with integrated spatial audio speakers, promising an immersive 3D audio experience that's like music to your ears. This beast is designed to display content in real time and boasts spectacular visual quality. We're talking 23 million pixels packed into the two small micro OLED displays with a resolution of 4K per eye using the custom three element lens design. The claim is that the visuals will be superior to a 4K TV. All this magic happens on a platform dubbed Vision OS, specifically designed to revolutionize how we handle productivity, collaboration, and connectivity, including great colors, nice deep blacks, and sharp readability. You can see it as an infinite canvas. For apps, you are no longer bound by a 2D display and you can now control everything in full 3D. Multitasking is possible with the ability to place apps side by side, move windows, and resize them all through the input of your eyes, hands, and voice. The future is here, folks. But what about interaction, you ask? Well, there are no controllers included. Instead, you can type on a virtual keyboard or simply use voice commands. It does support Apple's magic keyboard and mouse, of course. But for gaming, they have shown you that you can use a PS5 controller. So chances are you can also connect other devices to it. The Vision Pro can also wirelessly connect to a Mac, providing users with a private 4K display where needed. Apple's making bold promises here, with a 4K micro OLED display promising a pixel density that's off the charts. But the real question is, how good does it really look? They're saying this could be the end of your TV or monitor as you know it. That's a big claim, right? We've heard similar tales from other VR and AR companies before. For one, can't wait to put it to the test and see if it lives up to the hype. Now, onto its capabilities as a work device. Apple is telling us that we can easily cast monitors from our connected devices, especially from our Macs. While this isn't new and we've seen it with other VR headsets, the integration might be more seamless with Macs. And there's more. It also supports Apple's keyboard and trackpad devices, which should help because the main interface is predominantly based on hand gestures, eye tracking, and voice. It's a pretty comprehensive control setup, wouldn't you agree? Here's an interesting point. We've seen Microsoft's HoloLens and AR headset opt for hand tracking and eye tracking. However, we haven't seen any device fully make the switch to this yet. Sure, the Quest devices have hand tracking, but it's generally not seen as accurate enough to fully replace controllers. Now, let's discuss its AR focus. It seems to display most of its entertainment on a large virtual flat screen and can even present 3D objects in real rooms. You can rotate and examine these at will, which is quite a nifty feature. The device hints at VR capabilities too, with what appears to be a VR mode you can rotate into. However, Apple is treading lightly here, preferring to term it as an immersive environment. We're left wondering if it can be used for more VR-like experiences. 
Despite Apple suggesting support for 180-degree immersive videos, they haven't spoken much about VR. It's left us with a burning question, how much will the VR mode actually be used? And there's still a cloud of mystery around whether it offers 6 do f positional tracking. Another unique feature of the Vision Pro is EyeSight. It's designed to help users maintain a connection with their surroundings. If someone approaches a Vision Pro user, the device makes the user's eyes visible to the other person, making the headset look transparent. It can also provide visual cues to others about the wearer's focus. In a major first, Apple has equipped the Vision Pro with its inaugural 3D camera. This new toy isn't just for show, it allows users to capture and relive precious moments in a whole new dimension. Imagine, your cherished memories now come to life with a depth that will thrust you right back into that moment. And from the looks of it, Apple might be nudging us to wear the Vision Pro all the time. Now, wouldn't that be something? But don't worry about comfort, the design has got you covered. The Vision Pro comes with customizable straps that you can switch to match your size, style, and even your mood with different colors. It's all part of a modular system that caters to a variety of face shapes. Plus, for those of us with prescription glasses, you can easily magnetically attach lens adapters. The Vision Pro also falls in line with the current VR trend of incorporating pass-through cameras. But here's where it gets even more interesting, it's equipped with LiDAR sensors for in-depth scanning. Now on to power. Whether you are on a long-haul flight or just lounging at home, the Vision Pro has got your back. It can be used plugged in or with an external power bank that comes with it, offering up to two hours of battery life. That's not a lot but last but not least it was mentioned that Apple keeps the user's privacy in mind with something called Optic ID. Optic ID is a security system that uses retina identification for device unlocking and authentication. It is a new authentication system that scans your eyes while ensuring that the data is fully encrypted and accessible only to you. This is like your personal digital bouncer, making the Vision Pro a fortress for your data. Apple has also put privacy measures in place for eye tracking. They're ensuring your eye data stays encrypted and kept locally. As far as ads go, Apple's got you covered there as well. Using your eye data for ads is a strict no-go on the Vision Pro. Apple really seems to be raising the bar for user privacy here. Apple is branding this as an AI headset and, with its plain detection capabilities, it sure looks like it's living up to the name. Though, with its mixed reality features, it's seeming more like a chameleon of headsets, adapting and evolving just like the industry itself. It's not quite clear yet whether it has positional tracking but we're staying on top of it. The launch of the Vision Pro is a monumental moment in the tech industry. It's a standing ovation for the blood, sweat, and tears poured into this technology over the last decade. This could very well be the turning point that propels this technology into the mainstream. Phew, that was quite a ride. But that's all we have for now on the Apple Vision Pro. As always, we're on the edge of our seats to see the Apple Vision Pro turns out. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates. Keep exploring the tech universe, and I'll catch you in the next one.